Edgar Lee Hewitt created the New Mexico Museum of Art as a place where they could not only display their work, but have space to make it. Yeah, prior to his arrival in 1920, Schuster did not have much experience as an artist, but quickly developed the curiosity for all things Santa Fe. He was interested in trying his hand at whatever he could get a chance to practice. So painting, printmaking, uh, eventually creating the monster that we know as a zobra, all came from him trying to make the most of the short time that he thought he had left. He became drawn to like-minded artists. They believed deeply that art should speak to, in their own words, you know, the uh, peasant worker in the same way that it spoke to any connoisseur or curator or museum director. They developed Santa Fe's first art collective, Los Cinco's Pintores. And part of this was simply that they were five painters. And the other part was that they wanted to honor the Hispanic uh, identity that was already here in New Mexico and show that they appreciated um, what their adopted culture had to bring to them. Schuster, along with Fremont Ellis, Walter Muck, Joseph Bacos, and Willard Nash, all had different inspirations for their work, but they shared the same goal, bring art out of museums to the people. They brought the bohemian art scene here to Santa Fe. They really broke the mold of academically trained artists to make Santa Fe a place where any creative person could come and be the person they want to be.